Here's the chip I'm using for this experiment. A CD40106BE. It has six Schmidt triggers and it also, each one, has a knot circuit at the output. Now here is the circuit that I build and we'll take a closer look at this later but let's take a look at how this functions in this video. Here's the, the build and we've got six LEDs here and everything's running on 12 volts so I'm going to turn this up till the first one comes on first LED which is right here this is one, two, three, four, and you'd think this would be five, but it's six and five, which is kind of weird. We'll take a look at the diagram a little later. There's the first LED. Two, three, four, six, and five. I know that's weird. So, in other words, I flipped the last two. Because no matter what I did, six wanted to come on before five. Which is very strange. But it works really well for levels. And I looked in the PDF for this chip and uh, didn't see anything uh, different for uh, 6 or 5. So in other circuits, chances are it doesn't make any difference. But in this circuit, it does. I'll do that again very slowly. That's six, and that's five. And what I'm doing is fairing the voltage on the resistor bridge. Okay, here's the diagram, and we take a look at the upper left. We've got the 50k ohm resistor between ground and a positive 12 volts. And then we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 10k ohm resistors in between the inputs of the first four Schmidt triggers. And then between 5 and 6 we've got 100k. But also take a look at the output of 5 and 6. 6 always wanted to come on first for some reason. Still not quite sure why. And like I said, I took a look at the PDF and there wasn't anything special about the last two. But anyway, to get it to work, this is the way I wired it. Then I was thinking, well, maybe I damaged the chip. So I turned power off, unplugged the chip I was using, and plugged in another one that hadn't been used before. Exact same thing. So I'm still not quite sure why 5 and 6 are reversed, but in this setup, it works quite well. And you could use it as a voltage level pretty easily. Plus, using this setup, you wouldn't necessarily have to have 
uh, the same resistance between the different Schmidt triggers depending on your purpose. You could have, you know, much larger resistors earlier to delay turning on the next Schmidt trigger. It depends on, you know, what your purpose is. Anyway, this is a very interesting circuit. Easy to build and uh, fun to experiment with. And in this configuration, it works very well. Thanks for watching.